Food deserves to be photographed beautifully. In my opinion, it takes more than the photographer to create beautiful food images. Knowing how to capture images and having the right equipment, thanks to our friends from Nikon, you can photograph food in the best way. In this video, I'll share my top 10 tips for food photography. First up, lighting. Poor lighting can kill your shot. So if you're shooting inside, there are many ways to use a window to create very different looks. Try starting with a window that doesn't face direct sunlight. That will give you much more constant lighting throughout the day. Or if you do have sun streaming through the window, try something to diffuse it like a white bed sheet. Having a flexible lens like the Nikkor Z24-70 mirror lens comes in handy when you're starting out as it gives you the freedom to change the focal length quickly. Second is styling and props. Avoid reflective surfaces as you'll see yourself and your surroundings in the shot. Consider adding textures like a linen tea towel or a plate from around your kitchen. You can use a simple prop like a glass which can add an interesting dimension to your image. Tip 3. Consider your lenses. I recommend investing in this Nikkor Z 50mm f1.8 s as the lens captures close to what your eye sees. The Nikkor ZMC 105mm is another lens perfect for food photography, especially as it allows you to capture up close detail in dishes that will make the food pop off the plate and help you separate the main subject from the background. This leads me on to my fourth tip, fixed lenses. Fixed lenses also offer wider apertures, giving you further control over depth of field and flexibility if you want to shoot at wider apertures, say like f2.8. Shooting the f2.8 can produce the beautiful blurred bokeh background that many photographers love. I find for the majority of my photography f2.8 is too shallow, so I tend to stick around f4 to f11, but you find out what works best for you. Tip 5 is about finding the perfect angle. Not all dishes look good from the same angle, so play around with the positioning of your shots. If you're not sure how your shot's going to look, try a few different angles. Maybe try a low angle, a 45 degree angle, and maybe one overhead. I think this piece is going to look best overhead. My sixth food photography tip is an easy one. Experiment and practice. Use a variety of props from around your home and play with lighting and change the settings to get different results. Once you've got the basics of food photography, you might want to take it to the next level. If so, this next bit will help you. My seventh tip is about flash lighting. I use flash lighting so I control the lighting to ensure that it's constant throughout the day and it can be replicated over multiple days. Tip number eight is using a tripod on its own or adding an arm extension for overhead shots. These are an investment that can deliver better overhead shots that are a lot harder to shoot when handheld. Tip number nine is about pairing your smartphone to Nikon's SnapBridge app for when the camera is too high to reach. Use SnapBridge app to set up remote photography with Live View. And finally, tip number 10 is about simplifying your image sharing process. Using the SnapBridge app, you can wirelessly send your pictures to the smart devices, edit, and then share them to your social media. Food photography is all about being creative, experimenting, having fun and being equipped with the right accessories when you're ready to take your photography to the next level. With Nikon's range of cameras and lenses, you're one step closer to creating great food photography. Good luck!